Dan Nando or probably James probably James oh, baka so, si ano baka si Bimbo ba- <laughs> ay baka siya hindi malayang mangyari hindi malayang mangyari yun. so okay Five, six, actually medyo three. nandun pa ako sa factor na kung, eh, kung sino matalo dito eh, well, so sobrang importante itong game ito for both teams lang. kung sino matalo dito definitely out of the contention na. si Abedo yung magmimipo yeah, kinuha nila pala si Abedo eh, no? Naka- stand in Abedo stand in that Abedo for execration But, yeah, maybe, ewan ko, for some reason, yung sa mga teammates ni Gimo, may, laging may, may, laging may nagbimipo eh. Pero tingnan natin kung may successful. May X-factor talaga sa kanila eh, na gustong magpakita na hindi lang si Abed natin kay MMR Lord ang kayang magmipo sa sitwasyon na ito. Pero syempre guys, tingnan mo na natin din, we can't really judge too much. Uh, it's one of the, look into composition pala, execration. Team fight heavy, very good sila dito. Meron pala silang Sand King as well as the uh, Dream Coil dito. Meron pa silang Silencer that could help out the Meepo. And actually, Clutch Gamers, they don't have yet any hero that can match up well against Meepo. Kasi parang ang pinaka AOA lang din na dito is gonna be the Static Storm Slardar. Meron siyang group stun, pati yung LSA. But I think that Meepo, kapag nauna, kung maraming nag-initiate na yung Clutch Gamers with the uh, infest bomb at hindi nila na stun agad yung Meepo kaya kaya silang liguran I think a Sven would be alright I guess uh, or uh, they all nag, nagano pa ang clutch gamers ng isang back. ano uh, isang Magnus oh well hindi pa so yeah, Ma- Magnus, Magnus could be good could be something ang um, X Factor like secretion with the Meepo of course is silencer every time that he can get off that global silence Ten means na uncon- uncontested lagi ang isang Meepo can Five go through the remaining. back line so let us see gusto ko lang makita kung saan ang Meepo gusto ko check yung stats ng ano, execration yeah, go ahead go ahead Kasi, um, yeah, so they banned out the Magnus ayun Kaya. they banned out the Magnus nga So I was actually thinking the same thing because it would make a nice, it would make an easier time to handle the Meepo plus at the same time, magcombo din siya dun sa static storm sa kinetic field ng silencer dito, which would definitely disable a lot of them. In a way, kung nangyari yun, parang isipin mo may, may pagka, hindi naman siguro global silence pero ang, ang ganda ng disable dun kasi oh. pag napasok yung rev pole plus the plus the kinetic uh, the static storm, walang ane, eh. lahat sila lahat sila silence, silence din, din eh, so, di ba? Parang parang ganon. Uh, I guess so. Makes a lot of sense, especially in the team fight. In a team fight sense. In a team fight. <laughs> oh, in a team fight. In a team fight. Uh-huh. Teka, tiyatig nang konaren. Uh, Nangabalita mipo. So di pa nila ginagamit. Really. Di pa nila ginagamit in this month, ah. This month. First time palang na ilalabas itong mipo nila. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Last three months. Card, check, yeah, last three months. Check out natin. La parin. Wala <laughs> parin. So they haven't. Pick Meepo in For at least in a, three months. Yeah, lalo na to sa ano? Ah, sa time na tumating si Bimbo dito. So this could be a uh, ano? I think wait lang. It's, is this the last game na rin ba of his creation? Tide Hunter. Dire team. It is. Oh, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. SKM yung kalaban nila mga pero I don't think oh, yeah. they're that threatened by SKM. Yeah. So I feel like they're giving out ano na? They're giving a little bit of a hint na sa kanilang strat ngayon. Yeah. Now they also get the st- Tide Hunter. Hunter. Wow, the, so, the off lane fight of execution oh, is it's very scary. Very scary indeed. Also, Tide Hunter, one of the few Five heroes that can match up against the Life Zero. So, Underlord, Abyssal Underlord, the pinili ng Clutch Gamers dito for their off lane. The Pet Lord. So, it's gonna be Bimbo. It is indeed Bimbo. I, I told you. Hey. Oh. Papakita niya na kung paano siya, kung gano'n siya kalakas mag-meepo. Ay nako, sa so lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon, we are in for a treat, mga chong, dahil makikita natin ang meepo ni Paring Bimbo. Tingnan natin kung ito ay magiging successful or will it be, I don't know, mashed potato ba ang dinner for the night ng Clutch Gamers or will they be food for the Raging Potato? Tingnan natin, I'm excited to see this. I hope you are and I hope ito mga kasama natin na ngayon na nanonood ay excited din makita ang Raging Potato na uh, Meepo. Ito pala guys, hintayin nyo na lang muna si Kuya D at si Boss Duno. Patating na po sila. Uh, patating na si Boss, uh, si Boss Lon. Si Kuya D naman nakaabang na lang muna kasi pahingan lang muna siya. Kami muna ang, uh, for sure, I think, I think uh, about last game na natin to, to cast and then Uh, so, 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 while we're giving them you know, a little bit of time to rest. And yeah, so last pick ng Clutch Gamers pala dito is gonna be the Pit Lord. 
Yeah, what do you think about this? Under Lord, it kind of makes sense against the Mipo because Mipo wants to get in close. Mm-hmm. Pero with again, kapag malapit kesa sa Under Lord, mareduce yung physical damage mo. However, yung magic damage mo hindi siya ganon ka mareduce. But if you think about it, kasi maraming way for disengage courtesy of the Dark Rift, mas maraming team fight control courtesy of the Pit of Malice for against the against the Mipo. So at least meron sila nung root mechanic eh, na pwede makapigil nung um, poof dito from the Mipo. That's true. And this is gonna be the first time din ah, nagagamitin ng well, clutch. ng execration. Ah. Oh, sorry, ng, yeah, ng clutch. I think yung Pit Lord din. Mm, in a long while. So I'm, I'm checking the stats din naman. But I think that's the case then. Yep, yep, yep. So we're just gonna wait for our game to be uh, to, be st- to start. To start. Yep. Grabe, June 27, exactly a year ago. Well, oh nga, 27, exactly a year ago, nag-celebrate ang fanatic na sila yung makakasali for TI6. TI6. But this could Mga be a repeat today. Ano daw ang rank ngayon ng TNC sa qualifs? Currently first. rank 1 eh. Oh, currently first rank sa CCC sa qualifiers. Anong sa sun yun? Ah, ako yung crash oh, and burn. burn. So, Alright. Now we go on to our team rundown execution on the Radiant side of Kibo on that uh, Sand King. Nando naman dito ang ating Tide Hunter, Raging Potato. Ang ating Mipo, James will be your puck and RR ang ating Silencer. And here for Clutch Gamers, both of these teams looking to actually get the one up against their opponents. We have Fly Solo on the Disruptor, Fast Fast and Furious, Armel as the Lina. We got also Rappi with the Underlord Gabby on the Lifestealer and Boobax on the Slaughter. They're now going to the Laban as they invade the jungle of Execration. They're looking for the fight and they have found a silencer in their midst. They're going to Kinetic Field does connect on to RR. He gets the stun connected. All the auto attacks from, from Clutch Gamers actually slowing him down. And there you go. It's going to be Armel dunking in. That Dragon Slave first blood will be taken by Clutch Gamers. Ito na guys, put in your predictions. Sino mananalo dito? Execration or Clutch Gamers? Tandaan nyo na in the standings for whoever can go into the second phase. Actually, di double check ulit ngayon. There is only 1, 2, 3, 4. About 4 series left. Uh, series 19 to 22. And this is the second to the last game of Clutch Gamers as well as Execration. Pero... Looking at this one, because the Kalabi Mamena Clash Gamers is going to be Moogle, and then for Execution, it's going to be Skate Masters. The, both, of, both two of those teams are the lowest standing teams in the SEA qualifiers ng TI or the internationals. So I don't think that it's the prime point of both of those teams. So these, this match talaga is what's going to dictate if Execution Man or Clutch Gamers are the possibility na they can get into Phase 2. So it's the parang ano nila. Gusto nilang pakita, overall, how oh, they can handle this. Yeah, palagi, ito talaga yung standard comp na CG. Most of the time na nilaman, Gabby doesn't really go up against, uh, doesn't go really too off of meta. Fly solo, palagi mo siya nakikita ng naka-disruptor almost always. Nando getting bombarded here by Boombox, who is on again, again on a slurder that he uses most of the time. Nice connection dun sa kinetic field. One more auto attack. And he will go down. So we're going to box dito as Kimwell as well as RR going in for the re-engage. Good timing with that burrow strike just for the re- Again, just for the re-engage lang. Big lang mid si Bimbo Baggins. Si Bimbo ano siya eh, para siyang the flex role. Hindi, bye ba siya depende sa kailangan ng execration. And I think in a way, this is why Execration right now is having uh, such a good start. Because he has exact role now, si Bimbo. He can actually go, what? You can like Tuscar. Now, he's uh, na a mid, uh, mid lane Mipo. And it's working well naman right now for Execration. He looks like he's going to Yeah, si Armel is always going to be lean. He's not going to change that. Si Boombox, you think he's always going to be lean. Either Slardar or Nyx Assassin. If he doesn't get either one of those two, he can immediately go for, I believe, a clockwork then. A soldier's fortune. Yeah, yun nga eh. But for now, Clutch Gamers starting this game pretty uh, pretty nice. Two kills already for them. 
And here's the strength of Raging Potato playing on a Meepo. He can actually get to steal the bounty runes if he corrects it, if he times it correctly and not lose any XP in the mid lane. Top lane wise, mga magubuli sila ngayon kay Fly Solo na nasa pinakapunat dulo na ng top lane dito. So he will get stunned, he will get knocked up. And that should be another kill here for Execration. Binabully out na nila si Fly Solo. They know, they know that he can't really do too much in that perspective. Gabby's trying to run away here for the same for the same reason. Knock up as well from Nando. And this is just body block and auto attacks coming in from Execration. At least Gabby does have the extra heal from the Magic Stick. But here comes Fly Solo. They're gonna be going aggressive. Can he actually go and survive? Oh, the knock up no. Barrow strike and Kimwell is on a killing streak or a killing spree. Let's fly solo. Revenge avenges his teammate. Karabi dito. Walang pakela may execution sa nararamdaman ng clutch gamers. It's e it's too easy for. Wala pala RTG dito. Too easy for execution lang, yeah? What's up? So. Four is to three now. Yung nga, ikaw, ikaw naman, Wolf. Sinong, tig, sinong bet mo manalo ngayon? Kasi dami na nagsasabi na gusto na execration pero meron ding nakatutok din sa Clash Gamers. Kasi sabihin natin na Clash Gamers are on a... You can't sugarcoat it. They're, they're doing really bad. Recently, oh, recently. Totally. Pero... Actually, napastato si Fly Solo, si Kenneth Colongo dito. Uh -huh. Actually, friend natin siya sa iyo. Parang it's a disaster. Parang sila... Sabi niya, it's a disaster. So, personally, I think... I mean, I think he personally knows that talaga they're struggling sila dito. I don't know why they are struggling, but this is again some glimpse of uh, of the past clutch gamers palang yun naikita natin. Parang uh, sorry kanina in game against uh, against the NC. Ano uh, lang sila parang nag nagkaroon ng kon naghanap nila yung stride nila kung baga. Pero so far sobrang is struggle talaga sila. Ano daw ang hero ni Raul? Si Pitlord po mga best. Uh -oh. I would say na in term in this matchup, I would always go for the Meepo. I mean, fi I'm a fan of the Meepo, of the hero itself. Eh. Mahilig din naman ako mag Meepo. And every time I see a Meepo pick, gusto ko kong makita kung paano nila inutilize. Eh. So right now, so actually I missed this out. But did Meepo start from the safe lane? No, mid lane si, ano? Mid -lane. si Regin Potato. Okay. Top lane wise, Nando with that Kraken Shell actually able to absorb so much Pressure, so much punishment from Clutch Gamers, and he will be able to get away. He's just perfect here. Well, for Cedar, for execution side, as Nando has been such a pivot point, para hindi ma, ma over ma over control ng Clutch Gamers on top lane. Well, uh, slight misstep dito para sa, ex sa execution stack. Eh. Meanwhile, Meepo will. Hindi naman daw hero ni ano? Ni Bimbo yung Meepo. Tignan natin, tignan natin. It's still, it's still to be seen. I mean, this is the first game that we've seen. Well, you know, raging potato. It was tama nang ano? Di natin nakikita siya naka naka bipo, pero we don't know. Yeah, that's di parang ganon yun. Sige, fine. Hindi natin siya nakikita magbipo. That could be a telltale na hindi siya dinga siya sa nai. Pero it could also mean na Maybe the tira tago nila dito. So since wala tayong info kung magaling or hindi si Bimbo sa kanya pag Bimbo, we'll just wait and see if he's really good at this uh, hero. So far he is 38 last hits. Dito world. That's mainly because of the stacks that he gets around the map. At makaganda naman niya ang micro so far kasi nakapag-stack rin siya for his team. In terms of experience, okay, mukhang okay lang din naman siya. So we'll just wait and see. Again, the Bimbo will uh, bukod sa dapat maganda yung kanyang Early game, gonna happen. But in mid game, the stun will connect on Kimola. Gonna play it on top of it. Another strike will connect. Fly solo gets a takedown onto that Sand King. Four is to four. I think score dito. Execration versus Clutch Gamers. It's actually Rappi have a better time as an off laner dito sa may bab sa bottom lane. But there's the dream call connecting onto Rappi. Here comes the support from Kimwell. Gets the knock up or rather the stun, stopping that teleport. And we'll be seeing Execrations, or rather CG's offlaner go down once more. So again, some guys are going to ask us the next match. Natin. Uh, after this CG versus Execration, it should be T T uh, TSM, sorry, DNC versus SKM. Top lane wise, Sinander na naman in a world of hurt. There's going to be the open wood slow. Boombox to connect that slithering crush. And this should be finally the Kraken. Well, not unleashed, but leashed in the top lane. Nando with the off lane uh, 
Tide Hunter dito. There's gonna be the smoke for Clutch Gamers. Mga magahanap sila somewhere. May isang gang. Salamat tayo doon. Shoutout sa Fail Squad Gaming sa San Pedro Laguna. Sabi yung Joshua on Rubia. And yeah, net worth wise. Pangalawa naman dito sa Mipo. At unang-una ang ating Nina na patas-tas sa kanya. Net worth dito, 3,800. Ano hero ni Raul? He is Pitlord. Underlord, yep. Wait, Underlord ba o Pitlord? Kasi ah. alam ko Underlord yung, yung pinakabago. Pero Pitlord yung dati. Diba? Pitlord siya dati kasi oh, may rights nga lang talaga yung Blizzard. But Kimo, man, it's uy, almost dodging that. But of course, that will not the joint, disjoint the Laguna Blade. Parang hindi, parang hindi dapat magiging Kirin Armelian eh. Yeah? Basically, naglabas lang siya ng skills habang nag-auto-attack na sa nags-CS yeah. or nagkukuha ng last hits. That's it, actually. Ayun nga, Underlord din kasi yung Pitlord, merong rights dun yung Blizzard from uh, Dot, from Dot. WC3. Uh, uh, so, Underlord. And Underlord, uy, grabe. Tapos sila dito ng catch-off. There's gonna be Raging Potato with the execution as well. But Fly Solo will go down. Kinetic Field will not be enough. LSA though, on to Bimbo. And he needs one more auto-attack. And that's a shutdown from Armel. The strength of his Nina has shown. And the execration are on the exit. They don't want to go for the fight anymore as their well, mid laner or carry has gone down. Good. He should have just used the poof dun sa kanya isang Mipo. But of course, maybe that is the lack of mastery din dito ni Bimbo. Let us just. Uh, okay, naman masyado yung this dito. That's not a throw. But I'm just saying that it's so weird ng pick ng TNC na bakati na road on nila sa CG. I mean, Para sa akin, hindi naman dapat throw talaga. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a throw. It's more of, siguro lang, ano, weird pick lang talaga siya. Kasi, hindi na siguro weird pick. It's more of like, masyadong overconfident yung pick, yung pick nila. I owe, ano diba, Sven no. pick una. So, it's very, pinapakita talaga ng TNC na medyo nagyayabang sila sa, sa match na yun. Yeah, it, ano eh, parang, I would say na, ang pinaka masasabi ko is more of them, parang, Testing the waters, I would say, para nag-experiment sila. Kasi I they, they, so, have the right, so. they have the right to experiment. Maganda yung, marami silang masyadong wins dito. And maraming beses naman dun sa game na yun, nakita natin yung strength ng lineup eh. Nagpipay off naman talaga. It's just that, mas maganda yung scaling at execution ng Clutch Gamers during the late game. Tapos nakait nila totally yung heroes dito ng TNC. And again, that's the weakness naman of TNC, TNC's lineup. Sabi natin kung all sila, at madali silang ma kahit talaga eh. I mean, that's yun yung weakness nila. Pero in terms of strength, ang ganda naman din ng pwede ng snowball potential with their lineup. So, I don't in, I don't think that it's a throw. Definitely not. Kasi may sense pa rin talaga. Matami pa rin sense yung ano, eh, lineup yeah. mismo. I feel far sa confidence play lang siya. Or over confidence play. Or picking rather. It's either that or yun nga, practice draft nga dito for TNC. Could be. One of those. Can never do you know. Yeah. Can never do you know. But for a throw, in definitely not. Yeah. Okay, so Clutch Gamers already in the bottom lane, looking for at least the tower Dito, making this Oy. Armel work his ass off as RR getting caught in the jungle. He was a little bit way out of position, so CG will punish that lone silencer off. Pick him off. Easy. Ano po daw mga po mo sa in-game predictions? Um, pag, pag marami ka na guess, pag nakakuha ka ng enough points, magkakaroon ka ng achievement. And achievement will translate to battle pass. <laughs> battle pass levels. Ganun lang naman. Still good, still good. Still good. Okay. Free, free, free points. What's up, Yamer? Wala na yun si Yamer. What's up sa'yo? So as we hit our 12 <laughs> yeah, okay lang. Well, lang. as we hit our 12 minute mark there is again two kill advantage for clutch gamers checking out uh, na dip na in favor in terms of new levels or sorry the team worth sa side dito na oh. yeah still ng clutch gamers pero yung sa XP naman nasa side ng execution i think it's because of bimbo being all around the map for sure. And yeah. uh, naturally, kasi marami talaga na kuwang experience sa mga people. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, that is quite. I think it's nothing yet too extreme for both oh, of these teams. We do find the kill onto the Slardar here in the mid lane. 
might force the issue, but uh, the Underlord is one of the best uh, tower defenders. Uh, the, he just cast the Firestorm, then just totally shut down uh, some incoming, uh, some incoming uh, push dito. Putada Nando, utilizing the, the ancient camp stacks to... I mean, utilizing yung kaya Anchor Smash as well as the Kraken Shell para tanggalin yung uh, stacks dito. I haven't seen the Dark Rift come out from the Underlord though. Yep. Nothing yet. Ngayon yung tawag natin sa ano rin eh. Sa Mineski Outing. <laughs> sa Dark outing. Rift. Kasi uh, uh, naalala ko pag ang kwento sa kanya ni Kuya D. Kaya daw Dark Rift yung tawag sa mga outing ng company, ng Mineski company. Kasi hindi nyo daw alam kung saan ay pupunta. <laughs> Actually, oh. Uh, yun yung mga old school Dark old Rift school daw. Old school Dark Rift Hindi ko pa nakabutan yun eh. Ito so, daw. Wolf, kayo. bakit wala daw direct invites sa Pinas? Ah. Uh. Kasi ang, ano eh, ganti ano eh, parang Valve always looks at results. Para kailangan maganda yung performance mo for a long period of time para ka ma-invite. That is why Evil Geniuses, Noobie, Virtus Pro, Invictus Gaming, OG, yan, yan, yan mga yan ay direct invite. Kasama mo pa yung Liquid. Kasi parang, kailangan mo, ting ang titignan ng Valve dyan is if you're successful, tas mukha ka sustainable. Pangatlo, Pwede kang ma-invite ng Valve, depende sa ibang ibang cases. Kunwari, last time sa Kev Major, na-invite na nila yung Wings Gaming noong time na yon Pero dahil na-invite nila yung Wings Gaming, kailangan, kailangan nilang i-invite yung isa pang uh, yung newbie noong time na yon na hindi naman ganun ka-successful. Uh -huh. So, um, what I'm trying to get into is, kaya hindi na direct invite ang TNC kasi parang not enough reasons ang Valve dito para invite sila. At kapag in-invite nga nila ang TNC, they have to invite Faceless as well. Kasi parang pareha sila na na-achieve. And the Clutch Gamers squad pa rin. Parang ganun. Global oh. Silence being activated by the Silencer. While well, it looks like Execration are on for the fight, Gabi has to run away, but there's a bit of malice. Perfect timing from Rappi as well as the Static Storm. And then a ng bugin na ngayon, si Raging Potato. The positioning is bad, and the Laguna Play to connect there from Armel shuts down the mid laner Nito and Execration. Tatakpo pa LSA onto this Tide Hunter, and he will be broken down. Three for the price of none, and Clutch Gamers have gotten a, a pretty good stride in that clash. It, it started out as a decent fight for execution. Maganda yung connection na silence. Maganda rin yung nakuha dito for the, I mean, the Tide Hunter Ultimate, which is the Ravage. Kaya lang, not enough damage out from execution. Maganda yung rage na paggamit dito. Na life stealer na clutch gamers, Gabi. At hindi rin nagamit yung Dream Call. So I think it's more about execution. Not having a uh, good sick sa kanila mga skills dito. But ito, gusto po malag ng Execration for this rush pick. Kimwell is onto the sidelines, doesn't have a dagger just yet. But this Roshan is being taken down quite quickly, but Execration are almost in the fight. Kailangan nila mag-ingat ngayon dito. There's a three-man dream call coming in from... Oh, who's gonna get it? It's gonna be Rappi with the Aegis of Immortal. Nakapatay pa sila ng dalawa dito. Only fly solo to go down for CG. And Execration, medyo pinilit nila. And they are paying the price ah, with two more deaths. That is definitely yeah, questionable dito para sa execration. Sabi mo nga, namasyado nilang pinilit. Gusto na talaga nilang contest yung Rosha na yun. They didn't capitalize on them having actually the mech up on their heroes dito on their Tide Hunter. Sana yung tema lang nila dumating yung Tide Hunter. Or just plainly just concede the Rosha kasi they didn't have any cool. fighting chance there. Please they just no fed doubt. away oh, kills man. para sa clutch gamers. No, nagi problema. Masyadong, I think just the the positioning of Raging Potato was too exposed. Yeah. I mean, nakapaglapag na magandang ano rin, Ravage din si Nando dito eh. But aside from that, kaya man nangyari yun. There was also even a global silence from the, their silencer. Yeah. They, and, I, should, I mean, it, it is the, also the reason why they lost your previous na skirmish, ng previous na clash. Kasi hindi nga nila nasink yung mga skills nila dito. Napakaganda na team fight na execution, all things considered. And if they go head on against clutch gamers, they have the advantage. They should have the advantage. Ang problema yun nga, walang follow up, walang synchronization ng kanilang mga skills dito. Despite them having a really good team fight composition. So I don't think that pala it was Clutch Gamers. Every single one of them was actually in the back line. Gabi, look at the damage from this guy just finding himself. Well, 
the Radiance top tower di 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 sa lagubang eh alan the alakdan 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 yun alakdan alakdan finding himself that sand king and in the top lane Armel fly solo and Rappy have set their sights onto the top tier one tower they want to get as much objectives as possible and boombox may have an impression dagger dito so the threat of CG's initiation has just gone up quite significantly. Dark Rift somewhere around the map. It's going to be the mid lane. Mid lane. They want to contest that they just uh, left. May nahuli pa sila dito Nanda. Perfect timing. Perfect Dark Rift coming in from the side of Clutch Gamers. Nando maratakas ka pa dito. There's the insta heal from the mechanism. But they are chasing down Nando non-stop. There's going to be the Ravi as well. The knock up. Oh, the silence support. though. There might no be the turnaround. Silence. Here comes the Meepo. Look at that. The damage. They get the shutdown onto Rappi, but he has the age itself. Immortal. Gabby trying to run away, but here comes Amerto Abios. Triple oh, no. man LSA onto Bimbo. And oh no, disaster strikes. Four execration once more. Tatakas was the well. Hindi bang ayari and bestiku. And it's gonna be Clutch Gamers again winning another team fight. Oh, again no. and again and again. They are just battering down onto execration. This is just bad. Execration exec. has got the right idea. At maapatay na sana sila dito with the Meepo. With the turnaround. However, there is that Lina prepared enough for them na makapag turn around dito. The Pit of Malice. Proving to be the bane of this Meepo. Proving to be a good counter because it just pops the Pit of Malice. That's instant setup for an LSA combination as well as a Static Storm. And the AoE stuns, AoE disables from Clutch Gamers. Enough para mapatay dito si Meepo. At yun na nga nangyayari. This is not paying off at, af, at all. Not good at all not for Clutch Gamers. They're not, they're not finding the right connection. But wait, James. Spots out fly solo. One more auto attack should be it. Yeah, it goes Ooh. down to RR though. But yeah. I mean the positioning of Bimbo is I don't decent, know. I could it's say, but yeah, I think yeah. it's more about the lineup ng clutch gamers na maganda against the Meepoy. Para sabi natin, maganda yung silencer sana. However, hindi naman siya laging merong global silence. Eh. Here comes the Make a for James, but LSA connects. Take a look at the Laguna Blade, and this should be at least Bimbo trying to survive. But Gabi comes in from the back line and takes down the lowest HP Meepo. And yeah. that is all said and done. Boombox is not done. The Karumpa is Infest Bomb plays one more auto attack, and Gabi. Gabi, Gabi, Gabi. Unstoppable na ngayon ang ating life stealer. And from that transition, CG are going to be hoping to get the spot up tier 2. Kung hindi si Armel na maglalaguna blade kay kay uh, kay ano po kay Bimbo si Gabi ang maglalas hit yeah. auto attack. The thing with Meepo against the Lina. I mean, maraming arguments dito na siya sabi na sa international na Lina is theoretically good against Meepo. Mga heroes kasi na maganda against Meepo, merong AoE stun and then single target damage. Pero I mean, you, normally, people would criticize me saying, Why do you say a counter sa Meepo single target damage? Actually, if you think about it, the best way to kill a Meepo is having a very high single target uh -huh. damage for a Meepo. Kasi parang, you just actually need to take down just one. Eh. Parang, kapag you have AOE against a Meepo, hindi ganun siya ka effective. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo is maghanap ka ng AOE na stun. Meron kang Lina LSA or yung Sven nga na may Storm Hammer para makontrol mo yung Meepo and then deal the damage on a parang yung single target damage. Yeah, Doon nag- do, ganun yung Sven at Lina nag- yung exactly what Lina and Sven do does or yeah. do whatever. Kasi meron silang LSA may Storm Hammer na AOE star tapos high single target damage courtesy of their kit. Lina is Parang Sven, niya yung effect niya against the Meepo eh. Yeah, that, that's the thing then. Oh no. And here comes Boombox. It's gonna be the undead delivery system. Two for the price of one. Tim Well trying to run away, but he shouldn't be able to. There's gonna be the LSA as well. Three-man Dream Call, but this is a defensive recall. Dream Call coming in yeah. from Execration. Just trying to stave off the onslaught of Clutch Gamers. But the glimpse on the Nando. Oh no, he, he won't get it. Come back to me, Nando. That's what they said. Activates the Shrine pa. Kumain pa siya na Laguna Blade, but it's all for naught. Naubos na rin ang Shrine activation ngayon ng Execration. And this is Clutch Gamers 2 on point. 10-22, 9k gold advantage. They also fought 
This is a fact that may own double damage through dito active for our male and that is that will definitely spell disaster dito. Oh, oh. Like Titan GG pala si Ana si Boss Derek. Oh no. Is it actually GG? That is the question dito na pa Dark Cliff na naman dito. Clutch gamers, where will they actually fly solo spots out of the career but will not get the oh, kill dito? The execution of execration. What is execution's meaning? Is parang ane naglilinis ka na cleansing. An, an angry what? denouncement or curse. Oh, iba pala consecration pala yun isip ko. Oh, so when you mm, okay to hate or curse in Latin execration. Oh. Well, with what's happening right now, I don't blame them if they yeah. <laughs> if they're cursing. For sure. Maybe the curse is upon themselves. Oh no. Then it's the 33. Radiant's the Meepo pick. Down. Not paying dividends. Dividends. Yeah, Pero for execration. I would say na ano talagi. Eh. Hindi naman super outdrafted dito execration. In fact, napaganda na kanila team fight dito. It's just that never pa tayo nakita ng combo from them. Never pa tayo nakita ng parang global silence into Ravage, into Epicenter, to Dream Coil, and then just Meepo. Dishing out the damage. Puro Wala pa tayo na akong ganun eh. Puro bato lang eh. Yeah. Parang defensive dream goal, Tidehunter Ravage na tatamaan lahat pero walang follow-up. Tapos epicenter na para lang makapag-clean up. It's ano eh, parang hindi nila nagagawa in conjunction ng mga skills nila dito. And that's the reason why they are losing the, the game right now. Armel, LSA connection dito sa Tidehunter. But makunat ko na itong watermelon na ito. Watermelon. The watermelon. I'll take you. Hmm. Yan natin. Four stuff and dagger for Boombox. That's all you need on a Slardar support. Roaming Slardar. Solar Crest for Gabi as well. And he's already building up into a Desolator. Fly solo. Gonna get caught out. Glimpse back. So, para medyo may pagka awkward positioning yun. Pero. Oh, it's all gonna oh. be the dream coil committed dito, but again, that's a defensive dream coil. But boombox for support. I think that the man may tao lo, may invest bomb to yeah. get. Yeah, so, di naman so, di naman solid si boombox ng ganyan kung wala siyang invest bomb. Eh. Yep. Amel, twenty charges on his bloodstone dito. Napaganda. Nakashado blade nani para si Armel ngayon. Yeah. Yeah, Another so, layer of, uh, I would say, initiation. Or positioning tool para sa kanya. Maybe heading for the um, what call the silver edge, which is quite good then against uh, Tide Hunter. Because having that Kraken shell out of the picture means na pwede pa talaga. Hindi siya the damage. Maraka lang muna. Oh, Merong oh, dalang oh. rapi yan. Gusto niya pa talaga makipaglaban ngayon sa Clutch Gamers. The epicenter oh, was no. immediately bypassed here by Clutch Gamers. Perfect there. It came well. It's an easy pick off for Gabby. Huge ravage coming out from Nando, but wala ma follow up ngayon ang execration here to the sidelines. Oh, no. We see Armel going in aggressive, shuts down the puck. So soon it's pang raging potato with a bit of malice, but there is the safety from the shrines. Pero hindi, even with that, the low HP Meepo, ni Bimbo dito, di kinaya, and they immediately get four kills. Grabe, ano ngayon ang ginagawa ng execration? Bakol lang sila ng bato ng seals. Yeah. It's not really looking cohesive. It's a wild goose change. Not cohesive, but parang... I don't know, what, do you, what is the term for that? Parang nag-ahabol lang sila ng mga kung ano nung mga... Parang nag-aagaw ang buko sila dito. I don't know. I can't... Wala akong mad... I, I cannot look for the words eh. Pero parang ganun nga eh. Parang... Di nila talaga... Kinukumbo yung mga... Ano nila eh. Skills nila eh. Which is the strength of their lineup. Walang ultimate ngayon. Ang apat na members, or rather, tatlong members ng execution. They only have the Dream Coil, pero Clutch Gamers would say otherwise. The Roche is up, or Roshan is up. They can actually go and maybe commit. And a double damage rune just for the icing on the, for the cake. Rapsi. Oh, Rapsi, the Roshan on top is of that so juicy pie. Yeah. And Rapsi, there's also cheese. Sobrang bilis ng pag takedown nila ng Roshan dito. At Napabay back pa si Puck, so in the upcoming fight, bukod sa wala siyang items, wala pa siyang buy back dito. Tingin mo pa ba? Like, in a, in a sense, sa laban na to, makakabawi pa ba ang secretion? Oh, oh, that's... That's... Like, with their comp, you think they can? 
Oh, it definitely. Okay, sige. With the composition that they have, they can win. They can still team fight dito against Clutch Gamers. Problem is, ngayon palang wala pang mga BKB up on the Clutch Gamers side. Wala pang BKB to si Armel. Pero hindi na, hindi na nagiging problema dito yung team fight ng Execration. Kasi nga, Execration, they are not executing well in terms of their team fight. So, hindi na kinakailangan ng magic immunity ng Clutch Gamers para i-touch yung mga skills nila dito. And look at that. Si Boombox, walang pakailan kung go-in lang. He knows. He knows what's up. Parang drive-thru lang. Makapahingi ng pagkain. Easy take-out. Easy take-out for Clutch Gamers dito. Especially Boombox on his Slardar. Maybe, sige. All things considered, yes, I think there's still some, some sort of the some glimmer of hope for execution if they can execute well, I guess. But that would take. Oh, clutch you know gamers. what's up? Radiant clutch gamers is now knocking into the mid lane. Radiance yeah. Just mid lane like of execration. The barracks are exposed. Oh. LSA on to Nando. The stun pa siya as he tries to go in. Pero taka lang mo na ito na. Medyo malakas na AOE potential. Storm. My God, that is one huge pit of malice coming in. Mupapatay na naman nila si Bimbo. Wala siyang buyback ngayon. There was a huge ravage coming in from Nando. But it's just too damn late. They don't have any more damage. Kimwell goes down. And there is too many open or healthy members here from Clutch Gamers. This should be GG. This and Execration have lost all strides against Clutch Gamers. The mid is exposed. They can just batter in all of the structures here and put it to that. There you go. And put it to that ancient throne in the middle or, yeah, dire throne. Sorry, radiant throne yeah. in the middle. And the GG has been called. Oh. We have your winners, Clutch Gamers. Kita nyo yan, tatlong incorrect na. <laughs> the prediction, si Boss Alo. Yeah. GG, well played. Oh my God, Cinco Camote. Nag ang ganda na dapat ng set, tapos biglang na-counter ng Pit of Malice. Yeah, it's just, it only took one uh, one skill dito to completely disrupt the the plans of uh, Execration. Only the Pit of Malice. So, pangalawang... So, parang at least now we know Clutch Gamers... They know one counter to the Meepo, which is gonna be the Underlord. So let us just look at the brackets dito after that um, stomp mula sa Clutch Gamers onto Execration. And I think Clutch Gamers, they have the better chance of heading into phase number two. Let us uh, look at our uh, brackets right now. Mm, beautiful technician. Yeah, right. so four is four, three. Uh, three-way tie dito for team phase. Wait, that's already I don't know, dapat, about five three na, isn't it? But um, three-way tie talaga sila kanina. Tapos ngayon five three na dapat ang, uh, ang clutch gamers. Tapos ang execution na is fa four four, I think. Okay, yeah. Let us see. And Mineski is currently five two, while faceless is four three. I think they will have a meet a uh, match up mama ya. Tama ba pa nga sorry? Wait lang, double check. Ah. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah. Oops. Okay. <laughs> so, our next match natin will be, I believe, TNC and SKM, or if they want, Faces versus Mineski. Oh, okay. So that's another high content, like highly, at tag dito, important fight. <laughs> highly contested fight, I would say. Because, and we feel you got the brackets. Yeah. The big brackets, na yan. So awesome. five three, ang ating clutch gamer squad ngayon. And Mineski is currently at 5-2. And they will face Team Faceless na 4-3. Ngayon, if Clutch Gamers want, I mean, kung gusto m... Ay. I was thinking na kung gusto makapasok pa ng Clutch Gamers, Mineski needs to defeat Faceless. Then sila yung may give 5-3. That would mean na uh, the fight... Ay, okay. So, I think everything... Kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. I'm... <laughs> Quite doing the math. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we, yung lima lima kasi magadvance. Ang Mineski kapag natalo nila yung faceless, magkakaro magiging ang top five natin is gonna be TNC, Fanatic, Mineski, Clutch, and faceless. Okay. So if if ever, parang walang masyadong sense yung laban ng 
Mineski versus Faces. I don't know. Well, yeah, na abangan nyo na lang. So, uh-huh. at least nakita nyo ngayon yung bracket and just wait for the uh, next games to come. Alright, yun na. So, when we come back, it's gonna be Kuya D and Boslon naman casting for the rest of the games here. Most at explosive the... casting duo. The mm-hmm. most <laughs> explosive, of course. <laughs> Tayo naman, ano, the most... Ano? Ano? <laughs> Mag-isipan natin. Sige, so mag-isipan mo natin. Kaya di mo, sige di mo. The, ano lang, the beast duo. The, be, the, yeah, the, the beast, beast boys. boys. <laughs> sige, gusto kayo. Alright guys, so when we get back, it's gonna be Kuya D and Boss Lon for yeah. the rest of the matches here at the International 2017 Philippine Coverage by Mineski TV. Ang mga pala po si Asrai, One Hell of a Beast, and kasama ka po ngayon si Wolf the Other Beast. At nandito na si Boss, Boss Lon. Lon and Kuya D. Don't go away. Short 